Hi everyone, another high school football season is upon us and we're happy to have Scouting Ohio's Mark Porter with us for his weekly insight. A year ago, three teams made it to the finals with Canfield and South Range bringing home state championships. In our Coates Car Care High School Football Insider, Porter says a couple of teams could contend. This year we have some teams that are, that are being built to make a run that have some players. Uh, the first one that comes to mind is uh, Ursuline. Uh, they had a young group last year, made a nice little run and one of those players are back. Hotston Town Fitch leads the area with Division I prospects. Which means they're going to be able to hang with the big time players like the Hobans and St. Ed's if they have to mix up with those type of schools at the end of the year. But they're built to play a better schedule. Porter says the Valley is loaded with good players. Let's start in Canfield. Uh, Danny Inglis is the linebacker, and he's got a little running back to him where they let him carry the ball a bunch. Uh, he's committed to Iowa State as a linebacker. And then Austin Town Fitch is the big winner. They have the most Division I players in the area, starting with DJ Williams, a running back. Uh, Davian Pritchard is an excellent defensive back. Deshaun Bond from Fitch is another guy that can do it on both sides of the ball. Xavier Dawn is a defensive tackle from Fitch that has Division One offers. The pass rusher in the area, if you were to bet on who's going to have the most sacks, is Tyreek Donlow. And, of course, Christian Lynch was one of the top rushers in the area last year. That's some other players. Ryan Powell from Warren Harding, linebacker, maybe a running back. Jay Sean Lindsey from Youngstown Christian. When we talk about college football, those are some of the guys getting college football interest. And that isn't always the same as the best player in the area. So there's a lot of other great players that we might not have touched on.